Hey guys, so uh, as you remember from my previous videos, I got this uh, Zeus gun and uh, I'm trying to squeeze a little bit of extra out of this gun. I'm trying to make a full out of grip. Um, I found an e-grip from uh, old spider gun. Uh, unfortunately, it only has semi-automatic firing mode. It, it has this massive solenoid inside and uh, this board and uh, all the board does is basically trigger the solenoid when you press the micro switch. That's it. I was poking around on the board hoping there's some sort of jumper. Uh, there was actually a jumper right there under the uh, next to the capacitor. And uh, you can see the two pads, but uh, it's just the reset pad, the, I guess, for testing or programming. I don't know. Um, didn't, didn't do anything. So I was hoping there's a hidden full auto or, or ramping mode on this board. So they waste the microcontroller just to use, a, use it as a delay and the trigger of the solenoid. Uh, so this chip right here is the transistor, it's a MOSFET. Don't get fooled by the number of pins, it actually only has three pins, most of them are shorted together inside. So this thing is what fires the solenoid. Uh, this chip here is the voltage regulator, so it steps down 9 volts to 5 volts that microcontroller uses. And microcontroller is the brain, is the CPU effectively of the gun that sits here where you see the wires coming in. I have desoldered it and uh, try to find a replacement for it. The CPU or microcontroller that was here was a AVR AT Tiny 11L and it's all its only function was to trigger the solenoid when you pull the trigger. So I tried to find a pin compatible microcontroller and I found that AT Tiny 85 actually does the job. So it uses five volts and has lots of pins to control uh, all the stuff on the gun. So this gun has three outputs. Uh, the outputs are the solenoid and the LED has two colors, red and green. And uh, I'm using one of the pins as an input. So I had to reverse engineer the board to see which uh, device goes to what pin and then uh, wrote custom software using uh, Arduino IDE for the AT Tiny 85. And um, I wrote three, uh, I wrote the programming for three firing modes, uh, single shot or semi, uh, two round burst and uh, 10 BPS full auto. So um, I had to use my trusty oscilloscope there to figure out the pulse lens for the solenoid. It's five milliseconds, by the way. Um, and uh, after that, I was just messing around with the programming, trying to optimize my code. Uh, one of my issues was I was using delays to blink, blink the LED and uh, the delays would mess up the rate of fire when I hit the trigger and LED kicks in, it'll delay the board and uh, the rate of fire will fluctuate. So I got rid of that. And uh, let me show you how it works. So when you turn this on, the gun goes immediately goes into programming mode. So the first five seconds, uh, I can change the firing modes. If I touch the trigger within the first five seconds after the, turning the gun on, I can cycle through the firing modes forever until I stop touching the trigger for five seconds. So if I let go of the trigger and leave it alone for five seconds, it exits the programming mode and goes into the actual, uh, you know, hot state. So. Um, here it's, I'm going to turn it on and uh, there's a little boot time on the microcontroller. So the microcontroller boots up and flashing green means semi. If I touch it again, the orange means two round burst. If I touch it again, that's full auto. So if I leave it and don't touch it, it's going to go solid red, which means it's exited the programming mode. And now it's going to flash the corresponding firing mode. So it flashes red for full auto, orange for semi, or sorry, orange for two round burst and uh, green for semi. So now um, if I, let me put the camera down, there's the massive solenoid from the spider. If I hit the trigger, there's the full auto. It's about 9, nine maybe 10 BPS. Uh, I can make it faster, but I can make it 50 BPS, but there's no point. Uh, I'll have to have really tough spring in my loader to keep up with the gun. And uh, I don't want to, you know, hose people down, 10 BPS is plenty. So uh, now I'm just gonna desolder this chip from here. Uh, hopefully I can uh, solder it back on the, on the board without messing it up. And then I'll have a board that supports three firing modes. And you can do this with any, pretty much any spider that has these old boards. Uh, you can desolder the old microcontroller by a development board that uses a similar pin compatible microcontroller. Write your code using Arduino IDE and um, have a gun that shoots, has different all kinds of firing modes. You can pretty much, you know, duplicate all the modern, you know, PSP and then Excel and whatever the other firing modes are out there. 
Um, so power consumption wise, I uh, learned something that, uh, so this, my microcontroller uses about 18 milliamps in standby. Uh, the solenoid uses massive amounts of power, so I, I'm not even going to estimate how much it's going to last. But you can see from a 9 volt uh, battery data sheet, this is an energizer data sheet. Um, the at 25 milliamps, I'm gonna get 600 uh, milliamp hours capacity. So uh, my board draws about say 1820. So 600 divided 20, I'm gonna get 30 hours continuous. If I leave the gun on, it'll stay on for 30 hours, um, and then uh, and then die. So if I use it, it's probably gonna last me maybe two weekends before I have to change the battery. Um, unfortunately, that's the reality of having enormous solenoid like this. And uh, I don't wanna mess with the microcontroller. I can probably write better code to put it into sleep mode and reduce the LED flash time so it uses even less power but, and turn the clock cycle down. But for a project like this, I'm not gonna bother because 95% of the energy is, will be consumed by this solenoid. So, uh, Anyways, I just wanted to show you my custom board. I've never done this before. So this is a custom board for a Zeus G2. And this will allow me to shoot semi to round burst and full out of the Zeus G2. See ya.